Trust is something that doesn't come natural to many of us. Trust in and of ourselves does not come natural to many of us. So the question must be asked, do you trust God? You got to answer it, but I want you to think about it. I mean, hey, let's be real for a minute. I'm asking the question for you just to marinate on, in your mind for yourself. Do you really trust God? Do you really have confidence in God? Because many of us have a hard time trusting God because of our past and even our current issues. Many of you not trusting God right now because of all of your family trauma and your family drama. You're not trusting God because of the past betrayals that you have in your life. You're not trusting God because you've been lied to. You've been burnt. You've been hurt. You've been let down. You've been violated, abused, and disappointed so many times in your life. And right now, you got fear that rules the day in your life. Fear is ruling the day in your life. And that fear rules and reigns in your life. And that fear has you in a state of self-preservation. Trusting with all of your heart and lean not or rely on your own understanding. Listen, trust in the Lord if you say that you are a child of the king your trust should be in him your trust is not in money your trust is not in your abilities your trust is not in your accomplishments your trust is not in your looks your trust is not in your body your trust is is in the Lord. Trust in him and have confidence in him. And in all your ways. Acknowledge him. All of your ways. You got to understand with God is all or nothing. With God, it is all or nothing. He wants to be in all. Trust God with all, everything that you have. He wants to be in all. <laughs> so if you give him permission and if you give him consent to be in all, he will definitely do that. But God's a gentleman. He's a gentleman. He ain't gonna break in. He ain't gonna force him, his way in on you. He ain't gonna violate you. He ain't gonna have you doing something that you don't wanna do. You got enough people that does that already. God said, if you, if you want me in, if you want me in all, then invite me in. Allow me to come in. Give me permission. Give me approval. Let me come in and be a part of every part of your life. Because so many Christians, so many Christians, I mean, see, I'm talking about from, from young to old, so many Christians, we keep those hidden compartments from God. We keep those areas in God that we don't want God in. God, yeah, yeah, we good right here, God. God, we, we, we good right here. But this other stuff right here, you, uh, no access. No access, God. I put it this way. If I invite a, a stranger to come in my home, or even an acquaintance, I'm polite, I'm hospitable. I say, come, here, come on in, come on in, come on in. I'll be like, make yourself at home. And when I say, come on in and make yourself at home, you wanna know what I really mean? I mean, come on in, take a seat in this living room and make yourself comfortable in the confines of this living room. I don't mean that you can go in my 
my refrigerator. I don't mean you can go in the bedrooms. I don't mean that you can go explore the whole house. I mean, make yourself at home really means right here in the confines of this living room. And that's what we do to God. We say, yeah, yeah, God, come on in. Make yourself at home. But what we do is we want to keep him in those little compartments of our life. And we don't want to give him total access to every room in our hearts. 